And once again, a fight well in over my head. This is not a rematch, I think, because it's a different icon or a different uh, profile picture. But it's basically the same level of player that I think is just much stronger than I am right now. That said, I also didn't like my picks last turn. But this time more. Fang, Sledgehammer with Giant Specialist. It's not much HP, but still. He has Quick Supply and going in for Arclight Steel Ball. Honestly, I feel like I can win that fight. Maybe not with Quick Supply Specialist on his side. But generally, I think that is not a bad position for me from the very start. What I kind of need is a bit of a... Um... Chaff is not going to do much. I kind of need something to take down enemies more quickly. And maybe I just go unlock the marksman and add another line of tanks. Not like I can do much else, I think. Maybe I should go Marksman instead. Yeah, let's go Marksman instead. Going to put them one further to the rear. And deploy. He is adding on... Crawlers. But I don't think that is all of his money. He saved 200 bucks for the next turn. Not, ba not a bad decision. Whatsoever, in my opinion. I have a lot of chaff, but he has a lot of chaff clear. So that's not going to do too much for me, I think. Tanks aren't that easy to clear out, even for the steel balls. And they still can hurt them. So, I, as I said before, I really don't like my situation. I think overall my marksmen are a longer term investment uh, compared to what he's investing into. Probably going to be a win for him if I had to guess because yeah those tanks are just getting backstabbed and they are not even getting the tower. Unfortunate that would have been a lot of XP. So improved Storm Colors is actually not bad. Well it has reduced range. I always forget that. Yeah let's go in for that. Let's go in for that. Add a set of Storm Colors on my side of the map. I can't add two for the moment. But I don't necessarily think that is bad, because I can add another set of fangs here. They are holding back the steel balls, which is not bad. Oh, he's going in for two missiles right now. He really wants to clear out these tanks, yeah. They have been holding him back quite a bit. Still is 100, uh, 100 um, supply, I think, is the official currency name. But he's not getting back anytime soon. But he will win this turn very easily. And with that will do a ton of damage to me. It's unfortunate that these Stormcrawlers fired so early. Uh, so late. Well, maybe late or early. I would have preferred them putting more rounds into the back line. Kill a bunch of uh, tanks and arc lights. So yeah, that is a missile that cost me. Photon coating not bad. Mass produced wave might actually be decent. He has nothing that shoots up. I guess I should have picked it up on that earlier. Maybe I should have gone in for Phoenixes then. Could do that right now. He's probably going to be expecting Wraiths. I think for the moment I just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a bunch of somewhat sacrificial uh, crawlers here. That can take a missile hit. Hopefully he won't be able to snipe everything I have at that point in time. And should I just go in and make these attacks hit harder? I think that is actually a decent idea. And then... Get my upgrades, I say. He is still not going in for anything in the air. He has anti-aircraft ammunition, but I really think I should switch into Phoenixes at a decent point in time. He's not going in for the missile, so these crawlers are officially wasted right now. This is doing a good chunk of damage. 
However, the tanks are getting annihilated by rank 2 steel balls, and they cannot win against those right now. I am losing badly. Maybe Stormcrawlers are not the correct pick if you're facing steel balls. They can be so very quickly on your Stormcrawlers. Then again, maybe just adding... Okay, this I'm going to pick. Maybe just adding even more tanks, even more Stormcrawlers will eventually do the trick. That said, for the moment, I think actually going into a wave is a, a choice that I like. And I can go into degradation fields in order to further amplify my own uh, damage on the ground. I feel like, yeah, let's put that here. And for a hundred bucks, what do I do for a hundred bucks? Let's upgrade these Stormcrawlers. He's going in on higher ranked arc lights and everything, and he still has no anti-air, so I should be winning this turn by default, but I can't expect that to last. Like, he has a bunch of tanks, but I don't think they are going to survive against tanks and everything else. Stormcrawler's doing a decent bit of damage, too. Wraith's putting in some good work as well. Marksman is unfortunately going to fall. But this side has no anti-air. This side has no anti-air. Maybe I should have exploited that weakness earlier. Oh, there still is some anti-air here. And those, um, still, no, those, um, what are they called? Fangs still managed to take out one of the Wraiths. I will not be dealing with the other one, though. So before I do much else, I want to see what he switches into. I'm going to do none of these. That going to upgrade here. And then I don't want to go for overlords here, actually. Maybe this time I should be switching into scorpions? Nah. I think my front line at this very moment just needs more tank. So I'm getting more tank. Actually, I should have looked how much money I actually have to, you know, spend before I buy something. I guess I'll get another marksman. This way, it's not wasted. Added five spaces here so that I can eventually probably put another unit this way. And maybe unlock the Vulcan just for good measure and because it's free. He now has rank 3 tanks. He got his own marksman to deal with my rapes. Decent choice. Right now they are locking on on them, but I think I can just give my rapes rage. They are still blowing up his stuff pretty decently. So I guess I win one side, lose the other side. Really depends on what is happening next time. Stormcallers are calling a storm and now I have the tower depredation on him. So I will win this turn regardless. Yeah. 